second location. I am so excited about mm -hmm. this. Ashley Williams live at Bacon and Butter checking out the new space. <laughs> Good morning. Bacon and Butter. Okay. Yes. Even in the office, we've been talking about this. We've been waiting for this location to open, open up in ESAC, and it's finally here. Take a look, guys. Bacon and Butter. This is their second location. It is beautiful. It is stunning. And let me tell you, we've been here for about an hour waiting to go live. It has been nonstop. People lining up outside the doors. Every single table has been filled all morning long. Yeah, two weeks in, and it's still uh, good old bacon and butter, you know? A little bit of a wait. Yeah, I want to talk about the decor. It's much different from your other location. Now, if you haven't uh, been to the other location, it's I don't like to use the word grunge, but it's definitely more rustic and has a different, different vibe, different feel. Correct, yeah. And, you know, each location that we're at, we kind of construction process it, it's going to expose things that you're going to have to either correct or work with so that's what we got here with, you know with the brick and the skylight we have things that are uh we're here we did discover them and we fixed them up yeah and although not open right now you have an outdoor patio which is going to be great come the summer i already know people in this area are going to jump on their bikes and ride around and try to you know have lunch outside that, that's going to be a hot spot for the neighborhood we have a full bar we're going to do happy hour in a couple months it, it'll be a It'll be a neighborhood spot. We so. love happy hour. Okay, I want to talk about a few things that are different in this location that you okay. don't have in your other locations. But take a look, guys. Pastry bar. Uh, this is fantastic. Definitely. We got, our, we got a display for our pastries because we take a lot of pride in our baking. You know, every day we wake up and get here at 4.30 and bake a bunch of stuff. So now you get to see it. You get a good opportunity to be enticed. Yeah. Oh, I'm always enticed. There you go. I, well, somebody just walked in right now and just came up just to grab something and yeah. then took off and it, walked out the door. It's eye candy, you know? It is, yeah. Yep. I also love eye candy. Okay, let's move on. So whenever I come to Bacon and Butter, I always say, Billy, like, I'm a bit health conscious and it's hard for me to eat something, but you've, you've switched it around. There's one item on this menu that you don't have at the other location, which is? Uh, the cheese seed pudding. It's, it's not green juice, but it's actually very healthy. Um, cheese seeds, almond milk, banana dark chocolate, coconut, and a hazelnut butter. And it's, uh, it, it's one of those things that fits well into the keto diet. The only dairy in there is actually in the, in the dark chocolate, but wow. you can leave that out. It's, um, it's going to be part of our grain bar, which we'll develop more and more as we get comfortable in our space. Uh, yeah. There it is. Well, congratulations. Right and of course, all their staples, uh, the chicken and waffles and some of the other big sandwiches that we all love and the potatoes. Um, now, Billy, a big conversation we've been having all morning is about Pop-Tarts. Do you think you will ever serve handmade or homemade, I should say, Pop-Tarts in this location? Uh, in this location? Well, we have done Pop-Tarts in the past, so I would say, yeah, definitely Pop-Tarts are going to, going to be something of uh, bacon and butter's there we pastry go. case. There it is. You hear that? Pop-Tarts, yes! possibly, coming up in the near future. Right. Back over to you. Hey, I'm excited to check that place out. Ashley, thank you. All right, we're kicking off your week.